Yo, what's up guys? I'm Black Hero, and in this Monster Infinite video, we got a marketplace status update that they just launched just now. Um, so uh, if you check their monsterinfinite.medium.com medium page, links in the description, you'll find this article. It's also on Telegram, on Discord most probably on Twitter as well. So, uh, it reads as follows. With regards to the marketplace delay, we have prepared a detailed explanation of what happened during the supposed day of the monster sale release, what we are currently doing to handle the issue, and how we can entirely avoid a similar issue in the future. We would like to once again sincerely apologize to our community for the incident and would like to reassure you that we would do our utmost best to ensure that the marketplace would be running smoothly as soon as possible. So this is what happened, guys, all right? On the 22nd of October, 2021, hours before the expected release time, we were already analyzing the traffic, entering the marketplace, and saw a worrying, worryingly increase in the traffic spike. So the developer team made a unanimous decision to extend the release to a later time to prepare the marketplace infrastructure to accommodate for the traffic spike. So you remember recalling the 1400 GMT or UTC plus zero, they moved it to 1800 GMT or UTC plus zero. That was like a four hour extension of the release time. So by the second release time, we were already prepared to accommodate the traffic spike that we expected suspected would accumulate during the first delay but when we released the marketplace it had undergone a tremendous traffic spike again reaching over 103 million requests as recorded by our service provider so you can see here 103 million 606,719 rate limit hard blocked requests so i'm guessing that's like the amount of people I guess over the course of tabs, you know, if you have like three tabs open, that might also in, in, insinuate a request. I don't know. But that's a lot of millions. All right. So for our conversations with their senior management, from our conversation, we were notified that the traffic spike has reached a standard similar to Facebook's. Regular, I'm like, this this spike reached Facebook's regular um traffic request which is you know a lot i mean facebook has been in the game a lot but they're 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 very big compared to monster so that's i guess that's saying something so this tremendous traffic spike caused the marketplace to instantaneously crash with all of our nodes crashing along we knew that there was no way to salvage the situation in a short period of time so we had to revert to a difficult solution based on the circumstances which is to reschedule the marketplace release until further notice so Another question, what is the developer team doing to resolve this? So, you know, what are the devs going to do about this? How are they going to prevent this from happening again in the future? So, we are currently expecting to utilize more than $1 million. All right, they're going to they're gonna spend a $1 million, basically, in cost estimation to not only resolve this issue, but to ensure the smoothness and longevity of the user experience of our project to the community. I don't know how this works. I don't know how they upgrade, but a million dollars is a lot. You can buy a lot of graphics cards with that <laughs> or networks or whatever they do. I, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a gamer, guys. So uh, this is not my expertise. Anyway, we want to develop a platform that our community will feel safe and secure in performing any transactions, whether it is for the monsters or the money STT liquidity pool. Currently, we, are, we have upgraded all our servers to better servers they upgraded their servers to better servers, utilizing machinery with improved capabilities. We were also able to recover the server that was responsible for the display of the money balance in the Monster Wallet. Okay, so yeah, the, the uh, that's fixed now. Rest assured that all of the blockchain data inclusive of your money balance and transaction records are backed up in real time and is safe and secured. We also ensure that all of our blockchain nodes are not stored in a central server. Instead, they are diversified and stored in multiple service providers. This measure is to ensure that the data will not be lost due to a single server failure. So, you know, I'm like pretty much like blockchain where you, you don't lose stuff. It's like a ledger. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we would like to emphasize that we are doing our utmost best to resolve all issues regarding the marketplace and would still go forward with the no motion of releasing both the month's money STD liquidity pool and the monster sales. So for all of you that are asking for the money STD liquidity pool to be released like one day, two days before they release the monster sale, it's not happening. No, they're, they're still going to do it simultaneously because, you know, there's a lot of reasons why it's a good thing and a bad thing. But, you know, this is to ensure that there's going to be a constant supply and demand of the SAT in the liquidity pool to avoid inflation of the value of SAT, ensuring the low cost 
entry that we promised to the community. The only downside here is you know, like if I get a, a paint right, is if there's if there's a whale, I'm like, this is a whale. <laughs> Uh, here's a fish, right? That's a fish. All right. If a whale suddenly wants to, like, you know, drop a hundred or, like, say, ten ten thousand money, right? And then it doesn't even buy Kronos. I'm like, what happens? This 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 whale will be holding like a uh, five hundred eighty eight thousand uh, million. I don't know math. Five hundred eighty times ten thousand. That that. that that's pretty much close to estimate in STT that will spike the price up right indefinitely and then how, even how will that go back into the liquidity if he will not use it because he can't use it I'm like only the master chef or the chef can replenish the liquidity pool or if this whale buys you know chrono zeros or soul bounds but he can't because you know he's limited to say three three monsters per wallet so he's going to be holding on to a bunch of STT what happens when that happens so yeah, it's 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 gonna be very interesting when they it actually work. So hopefully no whales do that, or you know they increase like a STT limit, like only per wallet you can get like nine thousand STT per wallet. Just just an idea. Anyway, so when will the marketplace be up and running? So we estimate that we will be able to resolve the marketplace issue by twenty eighth of October, twenty twenty one. As of recording today is the twenty fifth, so three days from now. All right, so we have collected various feedbacks from the community-based moderators and has placed a target date to open the marketplace to the public on the 29th of October 21, as it will be on a Friday, which is more appropriate to for a community. Because, you know, Friday, you know, that's, that's you know, you have no work Saturday. So you can stay up. If you're in the Philippines, you can stay up all night because you have no work on Saturday. So, you know, they, they had a target of 28th. They decided to, you know, shoot it on the 29th just to be considerate of the community because weekends, right? An official date will be announced again 24. It's not official though because an official date will be announced again 24 hours before the exact launch of the marketplace. So make sure you check our official social media platforms. From I, I follow Telegram and Discord. I, I recommend you do too. We all, oh, links in the description. We also plan to open the marketplace as a view-only site for the community on the 26th October. 20, so you can actually view what monsters have been sold during the 22nd marketplace crash, uh, we'll call it, because there was some, there, there's some people that were able to get lucky, really lucky, and buy some soul bonds, some chrono zeros, so was able to swap STT at a really good price, like around... You know, 490 maybe. That, that's already a good deal. I, I'd swap my STT if I could, my money to STT if I could, you know, do 490. I'm like, they, it's 588 right now, but depending on the market value, right? So, yeah, good luck. Good, good congratulations to them. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be able to view that on the 26th, all right? They're, they're doing this to allow the community to be accustomed to the marketplace as well as helping the developer team to analyze the traffic requests. All right, so here we got a side note. So since the very beginning of this project, Monster Infinite has thrived to be a community-oriented project, and we take pride in this stature. We want to ensure our community that as a money holder, you would reserve the rights as a stakeholder for Monster Infinite. Just like shareholders in a company, therefore, we are currently looking into ways we can incorporate our community into the development of the marketplace. One of the methods would be releasing a test net for our community to help us in performing a stress test onto our infrastructure as well as hosting a bug bounty reward for those who can help us track and locate any bugs in certain Monster Infinite related events in the near future. We are also looking into making some of our features to be open source which will allow the programmers in our community to be involved in contributing to the development of Monster Infinite. So here is the ending of this article. Uh, we would like to emphasize that the fact that all money holders are stakeholders and are part of the Monster Infinite, just like shareholders for a company. Therefore, the success of Monster Infinite will rely on both the responsibility of the developer team and the community of Monster Infinite. We understand that there are disappointment and frustrations amongst the community and spreading anger, hate, frustration, and FUD. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt may seem like a viable option at the time, but as much as it may be intended to hurt the developer team, it will only hurt yourself a stakeholder as well as the rest of the Monster community. Similar to any other conventional company, stakeholders should play their part in supporting their investments and help cut down any conflicts, which in our case would be FUD, rather than adding on to the damage of any unfortunate events. 
It would not require rocket science knowledge to be aware that any FUD wouldn't be positive criticism to a company. In simpler terms, when an individual spreads or creates fear, uncertainty, and doubt, they should not be deemed an ally to the company, as it will only negatively impact the project instead of adding them to get back on the track of success. So guys, you gotta be optimistic, you know, you're a shareholder of the company. You gotta stay positive. Alright, you can voice out opinions. But you don't don't try to you know spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt. You know there there's a fine line between those two things. All right. So on behalf of the entire team of Monster Infinite, we would like to extend our deepest apologies in regards to this issue, and would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to our loyal community for being patient with us, seeing through this project through the thick and thin. All right. So there you guys have it. That is. Uh, this article that is the update. So yeah, things to note. Um, the reason it crashed is was it hit 103 million uh, request. Uh, they're gonna be spending a million bucks to make sure that it's not gonna happen again. They're gonna improve their infrastructure. Um, we're still gonna do the monster liquidity pool and monster sale simultaneously. Um, and then expect that the marketplace TB no, estimated date 29th October 20th. That's a Friday. That's a Friday with no time yet. Not official. They're going to be announcing it probably on the 28th because they said 24 hours before exact launch of the marketplace. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully. And also, yeah, guys, don't don't spread FUD. All right. You know, don't, don't spread FUD. <laughs> Try not to at least. Try not to. So there you guys have it. That is the marketplace status update. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Until next time. See ya.